Welcome back everybody and welcome back to part two of our little mini series. If you have not seen part one, I will link it down below. Please check it out. As I said in part one, I have accumulated my share of skincare devices, gadgets and tools. 10 different modalities to be exact. More devices than that, but 10 different modalities. In part one, I shared five of them with you, told you what I thought about them, what they were buying, I showed you before and after pictures, and in today's video, I will share the remaining five modalities and devices with you. Again, let you know what I think about them, are they worth buying, if I have before and after pictures, I will share them with you. And, and by the way, if you are new here, I'm Claudia, I'm so happy you're here, thank you so much for hanging out with me. So without further ado, before this video gets forever long, let's get into it. Before I share the first device with you, I want to say really briefly what I also said in part one of this video. Though having some of these skincare devices, gadgets and tools, which I have right next to me on my table, can be quite fun, maybe even beneficial. Please know that none of these are necessary. So please, don't think you have to go running out buying any of these devices even if I happen to really like one of them. Please know none of these are necessary. And with that said, let's start with radio frequency. I have the NUA home radio frequency device right here. And radio frequency sends energy waves into the deeper layers of our skin, heats those layers and thereby stimulates collagen production. For this to happen, temperatures need to reach 38 to 42 degrees Celsius on the face and a little bit higher on the body. Noah says that by using this little guy regularly for three months, you can gain back 4% of your lost collagen. Now, 4% doesn't sound like a lot, we lose about 1% of our collagen after age 30. Once we hit menopause, this loss of collagen really speeds up. And in the first five years of menopause, we lose about 30% of our collagen. So technically, if you haven't hit menopause yet, this little guy can turn back the clock by about four years. Nua sent this to me last October, October of 2020. I started using it right away and I used it almost daily, about six days a week, for three months. I took before and after pictures and I will share them with you in a second. But Nua says to use this little guy in different treatment zones. So this is treatment zone one, two, three, the neck is another one. Since I really wanted to see if this does anything, I focus just on my lower face, kind of my jowl area, and I used it for two treatment cycles. One treatment cycle is four minutes. I used it for two treatment cycles on each side. So eight minutes here and eight minutes here. And like I said, I did that for three months, about six days a week. So here are my before and after pictures. So as I said, I only use the Nua on the lower part of my face, really focusing on my jowl area. And looking at the after picture, I might see a slight difference, maybe about 4% collagen gained. It's really hard to tell, but I might see a slight difference. Now, let me say what I also said in part one of this video. Taking before and after pictures, for somebody like myself, who is not a professional, is quite challenging. It is really difficult to get the same lighting, the same angle. I, of course, always try to do the best I can, but like I said, it is quite challenging. That being said, I might see a tiny bit of a difference in the after picture. There might be a tiny bit of tightening in this area. However, once I took the after picture and I had used this for three months, I stopped using it. And here's why. This little guy is very, very finicky. 
Sometimes it gets very, very hot, so hot that I'm afraid I'm going to burn myself. And other times it doesn't even heat up at all. So what you do, it has these little coils right here. You put some conducting gel on here and then you move it in small little circles. But when it gets really hot, even these small little circles, like I said, it gets so hot, I'm afraid I'm going to burn myself. And other times nothing even happens even though the light will be green, which means the device has reached the right temperature, it's not even warm at all. So I got so frustrated with this little thing that I stopped using it. Now they do have some troubleshooting tips on their website and I followed all of the tips and still I could not get this to actually be at a consistent temperature. Also, I found that I can only use the conducting gel that comes with the device. So Noah has their own conducting gel, which they sell with the device. I'm not that fond of that particular gel, but when I tried other gels, this really did not heat up at all. So that being said, even though I might have seen a small difference in the after picture, and maybe that is actually 4% of collagen gained, this is just too finicky of a device for me to deal with. I just don't have the patience. I do think that radio frequency is a great modality and I'm definitely going to look into other radio frequency devices and if you have any you really like, please share down below. But this little guy, I just don't have the patience for. If you have used the newer, please let us know what your experience is with this little guy. Next, let's talk about a modality I really love, and that is microcurrent. Microcurrent is the application of a certain low frequency of energy to the skin, which affects the underlying muscles and kind of gives them a workout, which helps to lift and tone them. Not only does microcurrent kind of give our muscles a workout and helps to lift and tone them, it also helps to increase adenosine triphosphate or ATP. And ATP, as I said in part one of this video, is a coenzyme needed to carry energy within our cells. Almost all cellular function in our bodies need ATP to be carried out. And in our skin, ATP helps with collagen and elastin production. So microcurrent increases ATP, which in turn helps with collagen and elastin production, and it also can help lift and tone our muscles. I have been in love with microcurrent for quite a long time. In fact, about 15 years ago, when I lived in California, I had a very good friend who was an esthetician, and she would give me in-office microcurrent treatments. I loved them. They were so relaxing and I could tell a difference right away when I got off the table. Back then my friend turned me on to the New Face Mini and I had the old, the very first New Face Mini. It was quite clunky. It had the two big balls. I loved that machine. It was so effective. So I would use my New Face and still get the in-office treatments. It was so nice. When I moved, I just used my New Face. Eventually it broke. I then bought the New Face Trinity. However, I wasn't very lucky with that one. It kept breaking. I would send it to the company. They sent me a new one. It broke again. I sent it off. They sent me a new one. They have great customer service, but the little guy just kept breaking. So eventually I gave up and I bought the Myolift Mini. I bought this about two years ago. I really like it. I saw great results with this. It comes with probes. You can also get gloves for it. And now it has all kinds of attachments. It has a lip mask, I think a forehead mask, an eye mask. So great little device. And like I said, I have been using this for the last two years or so. However, just a few months ago, I saw Penn Smith from Penn Smith Skincare talk about the Pico Toner and I had to have it. So now I have a new love and it is this little guy right here. This is the Pico Toner. It is a microcurrent machine. Don't let this tiny little package fool you. 
This is quite powerful. It comes with gloves, but you can also get probes with it. However, I really like the gloves. They are very intuitive and this to me, aside from that I have to give this to myself, so it's not quite as relaxing as when my friend gave me the in-office microcurrent treatments, but as far as the intensity, this to me feels like an in-office microcurrent treatment. This little guy is amazing and like I said, it is my new love. I got this probably about four months ago. I did take before and after pictures, which I will share with you in a second. But first, let me tell you what the company says about this little device. So the company says that the Pico Toner is the only handheld microcurrent device intended for home use, featuring second generation microcurrent, which they also call constant waveform morphology. And what constant waveform morphology, that's a mouthful. What that basically means is that the device measures the impedance of our skin and works with our own natural electric current. They go on to say that the Pico Toner can offer a non-invasive approach to improve and return youthful appearance. As I said, this little guy is quite powerful, so don't let the little package fool you. This has 1000 microamps, which is enough to actually treat the body. So this can be used on the body as well as the face. And in comparison, the MyoLift Mini has 400 microamps. I believe the new face is somewhere around 300. Now, higher is not always better, and I have not used this at its full capacity on my face, but like I said, it can also be used on the body. This is super easy to use. As I said, it comes with gloves. I also have the probes, but honestly, I haven't even used the probes. I just use the gloves, and the nice thing about the gloves is that you do not need any conducting gel. So you just make the gloves wet, you can put this little guy on your wrist and then you use the machine. It has two different programs. It has one which focuses on collagen and elastin production, so ATP production. And the other program focuses on lifting and tightening. Both programs are 20 minutes long. Now, like I said, I took before and after pictures. Unfortunately, when I bought the MyoLift Mini, I did not take any before or after pictures. I bought this before I had my YouTube channel, so I didn't know I would need before and after pictures, but I did take before and after pictures for the Pico Toner. So let's take a look. Again, as I said, it is quite tricky to get the lighting just right, the angle just right, but I did stand in front of the same window at the same time of the day in the before and after picture and the after picture was taken six weeks after the before picture and I can actually really see a difference in the after picture. So I'm really glad I took before and after pictures because honestly when I looked in the mirror I thought I didn't see any difference. Sometimes it's so hard when we see ourselves in the mirror every single day. So looking at these before and after pictures though I can definitely see a difference and like I said, I really love this little guy. It's really easy to use. And aside from, like I said, having to do it myself, it really feels like an in-office microcurrent treatment. However, the only drawback about this little guy is that it is quite expensive. This is $600 compared to the MyoLift Mini, which is half, it's about 300. I'm not sure what the new face is. I think it runs about as much as the MyoLift Mini. So this is quite expensive. And here's the thing. With any of these devices, what really matters is, first of all, that you use them. If you don't use these, they're not going to work. You also have to use them consistently. This is like exercise. So once you stop using these devices, you're going to lose all of your progress. So if you invest in one of these devices, whether it's this guy, this guy, the new face, there are a few other microcurrent devices on the market now, you have to really use them consistently. Otherwise, they're not going to work. 
So if you think you're going to use a microcurrent device consistently, I think it is a great, great modality. Now, like I said, I love this little guy, but it is expensive. Don't think you need this. This is a great device. I have friends who love their New Face Mini. Get whatever you think you're going to use and fits in your budget. I did reach out to this company after using the device for about two months, asked them for an affiliate link and also asked them if I could have a discount code for you. They did give me a discount code of $50. It's listed down below, so that helps some. Still, it's still quite expensive. Personally, I think it's worth it because like I said, this is like in-office microcurrent treatments, aside from once more having to do it yourself. So personally, having had in-office microcurrent treatments, I do think this is well worth it, but it is expensive. So again, not necessary. This is a great device. As I said, I have many friends who love their new face mini. And again, you have to make sure if you get any of these microcurrent devices to use it on a regular basis or else I wouldn't invest in any of them. So with that said, I love this device, but again, this is also a great device and there are many other microcurrent devices on the market now, which also look very promising. True Treatments just came out with one which looks very promising. I think anything Ben Fuchs produces is great quality, but personally, I haven't tried that one. If you have, let us know down below. If you've used this one, if you use this one, please let us know down below. Next, let's talk about another modality I really love, and that is micro needling. Micro needling is also known as collagen induction therapy. So basically, when we micro needle, when we medical micro needle, we poke tiny little needles in our skin. These needles pierce our stratum corneum which signals to the body that there is a slight injury. The body responds by producing more growth factors, collagen and elastin. I have microneedled for over 10 years now. I absolutely love it. It has done wonders for my skin. 10 years ago, I started with a derma roller and I actually just made a video on how to use a derma roller. If you haven't seen it, I will link it down below. So 10 years ago, I used a derma roller. That's all that was available. Eventually, Dr. Pence came along and I was really curious about Dr. Pence. So I did some research and in my research, I came across the Dominator. This is the Dominator 2. I love this little machine. But the reason I decided to buy the Dominator rather than a Dr. Pen is that I saw a video in which the inventor of the Dominator did a test on a piece of paper with a pen he did not use a doctor pen, but said that he had seen this phenomena using other pens as well. So he used a pen on a piece of paper and then took that piece of paper under a microscope and it showed that the pen was causing tiny little micro tears. He then repeated the same test with the Dominator and it showed that the Dominator was not causing micro tears, but actually tiny little punctures which is what we want to create when we microneedle. So after watching that video, I could not get the thought of tiny little micro tears on my skin out of my mind. And I decided to purchase the Dominator rather than a Dr. Pen. But we have to keep in mind that the test was done by the creator of the Dominator. So we have to take it with a grain of salt. I have several friends who have Dr. Pens and love them. So like I said, we have to take the test with a grain of salt since it was done by the creator of the Dominator. But I am really glad I purchased this little guy. I love it. I use this at least once a month because I medical microneedle once a month. Sometimes I also cosmetic microneedle, but I don't really care for cosmetic microneedling too much personally but I do sometimes also cosmetic micro needle with this, but I use it at least once a month and have done so for the last three years or so. And why I really like this guy is, first of all, it is so much less painful than using a derma roller. Now I'm assuming that using a doctor pen is also less painful than a derma roller. 
Personally, I have not used a doctor pen, but I'm assuming it is the same thing. So this is a lot less painful than using a derma roller. It is also a lot more versatile. So personally, I medical microneedle at different depth. Right here where I'm sunken in a bit, I go deeper. On my forehead, I go less deep, and then I go even less deep around the eyes. So technically, I would need three different derma rollers for that. Here, I can just dial in the depth. This goes anywhere from 0 0.25 which is considered cosmetic microneedling to 2.5 millimeters, which you don't want to use on your face, but you can use on your body. So I only need one machine. I don't need a bunch of different derma rollers, which I really like. I also find this to be less wasteful because a derma roller has to be replaced after a few uses. This one, you just put a new cartridge on here, so there's still a tiny bit of waste, but a cartridge is about this big versus a derma roller, which is quite big. So I really, really like this guy. It is super easy to use. You just pop the cartridge in, decide what depth you want to go, and also what speed. It has three different speeds, slow, medium, and fast. You put a bit of hyaluronic acid on your face for slip, and then you go to town with this little guy. And in the past, when I used to use a derma roller, I would use numbing cream because, like I said, it's a bit more painful. But with the Derminator, I have not used any numbing cream and I do not find it painful at all. It's a tiny bit uncomfortable, maybe around the lips. But when I just made that video showing you how to use a derma roller and I went around my lips, it was definitely a bit more uncomfortable. So microneedling is a modality I really love and like I said, it has done wonders for my skin and I do love this little guy. But as far as results, you can get the same great results using a derma roller as you can using this or I'm assuming a doctor pen. Like I said, I've never used a doctor pen, but you can get great results using a derma roller. So don't think you have to go running out buying a fancy machine. You can just use a derma roller. I like having this. And since having this, I have not used a derma roller aside from making that video, because like I said, it is just less painful and easier to use, more versatile, but you can get great results using a derma roller. The only thing I don't like about this machine is the company which sells this machine has questionable business practices. Some of you reached out to me and told me after you saw me use this in a video, you were curious and wanted to buy one of these, but the website looked shady, the wording on the website wasn't very inviting, and yes, the website looks quite shady. The wording they use is not very welcoming or inviting. I'm assuming since they are based in Europe that some of it gets lost in translation. Let's just give them the benefit of the doubt. But yes, the website looks a bit shady. However, it is a legit company. I have actually ordered from them for about 10 years. I used to get my derma rollers from them as well. So it is a legit company. Like I said, the website looks shady, but they are legit. The wording, not the most welcoming. What worries me a bit more is they actually take pictures of people who somehow made them mad and put them on the website with their full address, email address, everything. I don't know how they get away with that, but they do. Let's hope I never show up on that website. So that is something I do not agree with. And like I said, I don't know how they get away with it. It's unfortunate because this machine is really, really awesome. And if they wouldn't have such questionable business practices, I think they probably couldn't keep this in stock because like I said, it is an awesome machine, but it is unfortunate that they decide to run their business this way. So if you don't have any problems with that, I would highly recommend this machine. If you have problems with that, look at a doctor pen. Like I said, I have many friends who like the doctor pens or just get a derma roller. You will get the same great results. If you use the Dominator, by the way, this is the Dominator 2. There's also a Dominator 1, which is the old model. 
If you use either of them, let us know down below. If you use a Dr. Pen, a Dermal Roller, and let us know down below what your experience is. Next, let's talk about this little guy right here. This is the Sikora Facial Massager. This is supposed to be EMS, Electromagnetic Muscle Stimulation, RF, Radio Frequency, and also LED Light Therapy. Now, it definitely has LED Light Therapy. It has blue, red, and also yellow. However, I could not find what the wavelengths of any of these lights are. It also has electromagnetic muscle stimulation because as you can see, when I use it, my muscles actually twitch and EMS applied to facial muscles can help lift, firm and contour muscles. It is similar to microcurrent, but EMS is said to actually go deeper than microcurrent and exercise the muscles by contracting them versus microcurrent doesn't really contract your muscles. I actually find it kind of pleasant to use. The EMS feels like it is giving my muscles a bit of a workout. What I feel afterwards is an increase in blood flow and I can also see the tiniest bit of a lift right after. Just like microcurrent, EMS is also supposed to help with ATP production. So again, in turn, it is supposed to help with collagen and elastin production. So this definitely has EMS, but I do not think that this device actually has radio frequency because as I said earlier, for a radio frequency to actually do something, it has to heat the deeper layers of our skin to at least 38 degrees Celsius. This does not get very warm. So it does have LED light therapy, though I don't know the wavelength. And it definitely has EMS, but I don't think it actually has radio frequency. And this is not the first multi-modality device I've tried and been a bit disappointed in. Personally, I think if a device has multi-modalities, one or two of the modalities is usually not strong enough. That's just my own experience. If you have a multi-modality device you really love, let us know down below. It seems like a great idea, right? You do a couple of different modalities at once and save some time. But like I said, in my own experience, usually one or even two of the modalities just aren't strong enough. And I would rather just focus on one modality at a time and really make sure I'm getting what I'm actually paying for. Aside from that, this device is pleasant to use. I actually have been using it almost daily because I like the increased blood flow it gives me. And like I said, I see a tiny bit of a lift after, probably from the increased blood flow. I also like that I can use the LED by itself. Now, as I said earlier, I don't know the wavelength but let's assume it has the right wavelength. I can take the blue light and put it on a breakout because blue light penetrates the sebaceous gland and helps with oil control. So this is great for spot treatments. I would not use this as my only LED device. It would take forever to use, but for spot treatments, this is great. Again, given it is the right wavelength. So I have been enjoying using this device, let me turn it off, but honestly, I would not buy it. The company sent this to me, which was very kind, but this retails for $210, which I think is way too much money. Again, I don't think it's radio frequency, it is EMS. I'm not sure how I feel about EMS. I think personally, I prefer microcurrent, but it definitely has EMS. And again, it has LED light therapy, but I wouldn't buy it. I think it's way overpriced. And again, personally, I would not buy a multi-modality device because I just think that one of the modalities is usually not strong enough. But if you have a multi-modality device, that's a mouthful, that you really like, please let us know down below. And also, if you have tried this, let us know down below. And lastly, let's talk about this 
little guy right here. This is the Aura Lift, and this is just the packaging. In it is a mouth guard looking like device, which I won't take out because it's been in my mouth, so it's a bit gross. But the company says that this is a natural facelift device to help rejuvenate the face. The Aura Lift was developed by a London based dentist, Dr. Nick Mohindra, and Dr. Mohindra started researching facial aesthetics in the 80s when he wanted to help people with facial pain. This research culminated in the invention of the Aura Lift. Dr. Mohindra, who I actually had a chance to talk to just recently, says that using the Aura Lift is similar but not exactly like exercise. He says when the Aura Lift is worn, the jaw has to rest in a new position and the muscles have to adapt. Dr. Nick says that it is the process of the adaption of the muscles that triggers rejuvenating effects. So as I said, this is a mouth guard looking like device and you wear it like a mouth guard. You put it on your lower teeth and that's it. I wear this while I watch TV with my husband. It is super easy to use. And this is one of the devices I was so excited about this year, mainly because, well, of course, first of all, it says it is a natural facelift. So that, of course, was exciting. But I have been a horrible teeth grinder and clincher my whole life. I have ruined so many of my teeth. So aside from getting a natural facelift, I was also hoping this could save the rest of my teeth and with that, save me a ton of money in dentist bills. So I actually ordered this last, I think, December. It took forever to get here. It was lost in the mail. I checked tracking every day because, like I said, I was so excited about this. When it finally came here, I fitted it right away. So this is a DIY procedure. You just throw this device in hot water, not with the packaging, just the device, and then you mold it to your teeth. So I fitted it right away. You can do this yourself or you can have a fitting with the company, which I did. And I took before and after pictures that day. And let me show you the before and after pictures. So the before picture is taken right before the fitting. The device comes with an app. So you actually take the picture on the app. And then the after picture was taken after wearing the device for 10 minutes. I actually have the same before and after in black and white, and you can really see the difference in the black and white. You can see the increased blood flow in the after and the decrease in tension. It even seems as if I have a bit more volume in my cheeks and my nasolabial folds, my apprentice lines, are less pronounced. And then here's another after picture taken about three weeks later. And in that one, my eyes really opened up. My lips look a bit fuller and the corners have lifted and also my cheeks look a bit fuller. So looking at these before and after pictures, I got really excited and I'm looking forward to see what other changes I'm going to see. As far as what I'm feeling, during the day, I am definitely much more aware and I feel that my face is so much more relaxed. In the past, I used to find myself in the middle of the day just holding on for dear life, clenching my teeth and grinding my teeth, and I haven't done any of that. I am so much more aware and, like I said, my face feels so much more relaxed. I used to have so much tension in my jaw that sometimes it was painful, and that definitely has lessened. At night, however, I wear a mouth guard at night, and at night, I still find myself sometimes waking up again, holding on for dear life to that mouth guard. But I'm hoping by wearing this for a longer period of time, I will also become more aware at night and stop clinching and grinding my teeth and hopefully saving my teeth. So, so far, I really, really love this. It is so easy to use. I pop it in, I watch TV, it couldn't be any easier to use. 
this is the three millimeter so this is the one you start with and after two months of wearing this you use a five millimeter so you create even a bit more space so the way i look at this is sort of like holding a yoga pose so when you hold a yoga pose you might think you're not doing much right but some muscles have to let go others have to strengthen the connective tissue has to let go the muscles are getting re-educated so this is similar to holding a yoga pose but even easier because again you just pop it in and that's it so so far i am really loving this i have been wearing this for about four weeks now i will definitely keep you updated especially when i wear the five millimeter i'll keep you updated and i'll also show you more before and after pictures as i start to accumulate them so these were the remaining five modalities and devices i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful and fun and by the way if any of you are using this let us know down below let us know your experience with it like i said i am loving it so far but i would love to know if any of you are using it and what you have been experiencing so like i said hopefully you enjoyed this video any questions or comments leave them down below i always love to hear from you and i also would love to know if you use any of these devices or any other devices tools gadgets you are really loving share them down below thank you so so much for being here i always appreciate the time you spent with me until next time bye